God has been good to us. Everything that has great. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. 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 Are you glad to be in a song? Just one more time. One more time. I think if I can just make my way here, whatever you're going to. Come on, preacher. Whatever is wrong, God is sick. Who are you? Who are you? Eternal God, our Father, our God, we thank you for this opportunity, the privilege, and the joy. We pray now that this servant of yours will decrease as you increase. Remove self out of the way that your divine spirit may take place. We pray now that your anointing will fall fresh upon this waiting congregation. We need you like never before. Give us a spirit of praise and of thanksgiving. Give us a spirit to understand that you are with us. We pray now that you will make these dead letters come alive. Come alive. And that your people will hear, receive, and be blessed. Amen. In the merciful master's name of Jesus, who is the Christ. Amen. 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 I always like to use because I think the majority of us watch sports. Uh, how many watch sports? Ain't nobody said nothing. I, 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 thank you. Hey, I, I know I'm not the only one. Right? Hey, hey, man, Sister Christian. Hey, 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 hey. But on, on, how many of you watched Oregon yesterday? Huh? Hey, hey, man. They got out to a 31 nothing. Huh? I, I, and, I, and, I, and what I'm saying is that every now and then the devil get ahead of you. Oh, come on. Huh? But if you stay in the game, huh? if you keep on trusting and keep on believing that you can, he see you came back from a 31 deficit come on. and won the game at overtime. I, we haven't reached overtime yet. We we are still huh in the game. I'm back to let you defeat it. Game is over. The game is just be. Come on. Yeah, yeah. And after they won, Come on, I think they ran all everybody, but just running up and down the field. Yes, they did. Every now and then, we're going to see some folks who know they only win in team start running up and down the church, huh? Not, it doesn't matter what somebody else doing and watching. You can't do what I do because you don't know what the Lord has done for me. Amen. Scripture that was read in your hearing. Psalms 27, verses 13 and 14. I would have lost thought unless I had believed I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Yes. Wait. Wait. On the Lord. Come on, Reverend. Be of good charity. Yes. yes. And he shall strengthen your heart. Yes. Wait. I say. Yes. On the Lord. Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. From that, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor, Lord help me. Lord help me. To hold out. To hold out. Help me to hold out. Go ahead. I can recall as a young boy growing up in Mississippi. All right. I sung in 
the church choir. Yes, I sung in the choir. You may look at me strange when I say that, but I, I, I did sing in the choir. Could not sing, but I was there. And I have a music director introduced us to a new song. We rehearsed from six up until about 10 o'clock one night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to get it to where she wanted. And after that, we still didn't have it. All right. <laughs> she made the statement, you know the song, Amen. but you do not feel it. Uh -huh. All, right. All right. All right. Come on, preacher. Come on. And every rehearsal for the next three weeks, we went over the song. We kept asking, when are we going to sing it in church? Because we thought we were doing something. Come on. Uh, we, we would get happy just in choir rehearsal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? She said, you're not ready yet. Come on, <laughs> so we kept rehearsing and finally, she said, we are going to go over this tonight and Sunday. Right. We're going to sing the song and worship. Amen. And I thought about that when I was getting, preparing this message. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the songs that I kept me to where I am. Because every time I feel a little tired and discouraged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I feel as though I want to give up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the song was I'm too close. Yeah. Huh. To my journey's end. Yeah. I don't know how many of you know that song. Huh? Yeah. It was way back then. I was a young teenager then. But it said I'm too close now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can almost oh, see yeah. my God's face. Yeah. And I know that I love this old race. Right. See, when you when you when you when you want to give up, you need something that you can hold on to yeah. that that will expire you, that will keep you trusting in the Lord. Uh, Lord, help me to hold. What will help you to hold out? Cause I'm too close now. Uh, I, I've been in it too long to turn around now. Huh? How many of you know you've been in this race too long and you want to see what the end? It's going to be. Yes. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. That's why Psalms 27 and 14 could tell us you got to wait on the Lord. Yes. And not only wait, but be of uh -huh. good care. Yes. And he shall strengthen thy heart. Amen. But you know one thing there is that I have discovered? Mm. That all of us are limited. Amen. In our ability to do certain things for ourselves uh -huh. or for others. All right. Come on. We are limited in our strength. Yes. In our resources. Uh -huh. Whether we are limited or not, Amen. we are limited. Yes. Yeah. So what do we do? When we find ourselves at our wits' end. Psalms 25 and 4 and 5 says, Show me thy ways, O Lord, and teach me thy path. Verse 5 says, Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art my salvation. On thee do I wait. All, oh, not just some or part, yes. but all. Of, in other words, you got to trust, Lord, not just sometimes, all the time. but all of the time. Yeah. You need to walk with God, not just when things are down and you don't know how you're going to make it. You need to walk with God every, every day of your life. Because the moment you begin to give up, yeah. that's the moment you give way to the devil, Amen. your adversary. Amen. See, the definition of wait is to defer action or departure for a specific time until some expected event occurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be expecting or uh, on the watch. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible says you need to watch yeah. and well as pray. Amen. Huh? Amen. Some of us don't want to wait for anything. Amen. 
But we always in a hurry. That's why we want to give up on God, because we don't have the patience. Yeah. I believe the Sunday school lesson there with patience. Uh, Job had, uh, Jacob had some patience. Uh, he worked seven years, uh, seven more years to yeah. get what he wanted. Yeah. So if God can supply all your needs, you need to learn how to wait on God. You can't give up on God because things are not going your way. You can't give up on God. Because somebody says something about you. Yes. yes. Come on. We want to pick up our Bibles and go home. Come on. But we, we, in this culture of our herd and herd lifestyle of deadlines and timelines and fierce competition, the Lord speaks into our lives and says, wait for me. We become angry with people Amen. who drive too slow Amen. and become impatient with little children uh -huh. who wants us to take time to look at bugs and leaves. <laughs> all right, all right. God tells us to be still Amen. and to wait Amen. on me. Amen. We have drive throughs instant meal, instant banking, wireless communication, and yet God Telling us to be patient and wait on him and for him. Amen. David command says, wait on the Lord. Wait. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Yes. Maintain love and justice and wait for your God always, Hosea tells us. Maintain, maintain love and justice. We get so angry sometimes by the pedestal. Yes. Uh, and that's not the will of God. But if I'm waiting on the Lord, uh, if I maintain love and justice, and wait for God always, then he will bless you. Yes. Some of us lose our blessing because we want to do it our oh, way. Oh, we don't want to wait on the Lord. I, I need this now. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. That's right. Come on, preacher. Yeah. You know, there's some benefits Amen. of waiting on the Lord. Amen. Huh? Amen. Isaiah says in 30, 18, blessed are those who wait for him. Yes. He rises up to show you compassion. Amen. They that wait ah. upon the Lord yes. shall renew their strength. Yes. Every now and then I, I'm, I, 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 I get discouraged. I, I get a little weak. Amen. But if you wait on the Lord, yes. he shall renew your strength. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Then Isaiah says, surely this is our God. We trust. We waited on him. Amen. And he saved hey. us. Amen. Yes. Walking in the way of your law, Lord. Amen. We've learned how to wait on yeah. you. Yeah. For your name is renowned. And our desires of our heart is from you. <laughs> I wait for the Lord. My soul waits. And in his word I put my hope. My soul wait for the Lord more than the watchman for the morning. God has called us to live in this world. Uh, and that gives us many reasons to be fearful. Yes. We live in a world for crime, violence, and robbery, and, yes. and general disregard for life are only increase in our society. Yes. But however, God, God has told us that he has not given us a spirit of fear. Yes. Christ has also assured us that greater is he that is in you yes. than he that is in the world. Yes. If I learn to wait on the Lord, then I learn to understand I have nothing to fear. Yes. No matter how boastful, how big and bad your adversary is, yes. I got a Savior yes. who's already given me the victory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So David, Amen. David, while on a specific occasion of this song is not known. We don't know why he wrote it. Some scholars have said he was preparing for battle. Yes. But he may have just 
began to reminisce how good God had been yes. to him. Oh, yes. And how God had taught him patience oh, yes. in the midst of his misunderstanding. Yes, Lord. So David said, the Lord is yes. my light yes. and my salvation. salvation. Oh, yes. Whom shall I fear? Yes. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Yes. For whom shall I be afraid? Yes. When the wicked affairs forgets me to devour me, it is, it, it is my enemies and my foe who stumble and fall. Yes, See, if you've been with the yes. Lord, ah, and if ah. you have walked with the Lord, hey. that you will know that no weapon formed against you, you shall be able to prosper. Hey. Then why do we want to give up on God? When we already seen the evidence hey. of what the Lord will do if you wait on Him. Great. Lord, just help me, help me, help me the whole life. Uh, when, when, when I'm tired and down, when I want to get even, help me the whole life. See, David was obviously facing a great enemy. He may have been on the verge of battle. David enemies wanted to eat his flesh, that means to destroy his life. Right. How many of you feel that sometimes people just want to destroy you? Yes. And you don't understand that you haven't done anything to them. Yes. But every now and then, they, 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 they just come up against you. And you stop and wonder, what have I done to make this race so hard? What have I done? I try to treat everybody right. What have I done? Why are they talking about me? Why are they scandalizing my name? But the Lord said, don't fear what your enemies are doing. Just wait on me. Wait on me. Oh, what, what, why, why would you wait? Why would you wait? David said, the enemies has encamped and made war against me. Yes, yes. Come on, preacher. My God. Yeah, man. <laughs> he wanted to be hidden in the Lord's provision. Yes. See, when you hide and somebody says, the Lord, there have been our dwelling place. Uh, if you hide in the Lord. It doesn't matter how fierce the enemy is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you are surrounded by his protection. Uh, no matter what, how, how much he huff and he puff, uh, he can't blow uh, your protection down uh, because you are anchored in the Lord. Amen. Preach the word. David said, David said, yeah, 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 his attention. And his confidence was in God's provision yes. and protection. Amen. Therefore, he said, I could pray for my help. Amen. See, when the enemy's there, yes. uh, they, you can't pray, right? Amen. See, oh, you don't hear me. Yeah. When the enemy is surrounding you, uh -huh. uh, you don't want to pray the Lord have mercy on them. Uh -huh. But the Bible said you pray for the enemy, huh? Those yes. that despise and misuse yes. you. See, when you learn how to wait on the Lord, then you know you can't do anything about what they're doing, but you have somebody who's already taken care of that. But our problem is we want to do it ourselves. And God saying, you got to learn to wait on me. I know how to fix that. I know how to deal with it. All you going to do is make it work. Yes, Lord. I Yes, Lord. Psalms 4. Come on, Reverend. So this was the direct of music, but David with the string instrument. Yes. And it said, I answer me when I call you. My God. Answer me. Answer you. Don't, don't, how many of you want to get an answer? Yes, Lord. When you call on the Lord. Uh, you're not just going down on your knees to be going down on your knees. Amen. But you need help yes. when you call on the Lord. Uh, your mind, you need peace. Uh, you need comfort. You need reassurance yes. that the Lord is with you. Yes. You don't just do something out of the ordinary just to be doing it. Yes. But I call on the Lord. Uh, and I got an answer. 
give me relief from my distress. Yes. Don't you know this world will turn you upside down? Oh, yes, it will. Uh, uh, you can become so distressed, uh, just tired and uh, headaches and Every stomach upset because of the distresses of this world. Yeah, yeah. Come on, and there's nothing you go to the doctor. Yeah. They give you a pill and make you sick on top of the one you already taken. Yeah. Uh, go to a doctor. They, he changed that and give you something else and it makes you sick. Yeah. Yeah. You right. But I call on the Lord. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I got it. An answer. Oh, yes. oh, huh? Uh, who can heal all your diseases? Uh, nobody like the Lord. Uh, who, 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 can, who can relieve you of all your distress? Nobody but the Lord. How long will your people turn my glory into shame, the Lord says. How long will you love delusion and seek false gods? Yes, How long will you call on somebody that you know won't answer? Yes, How long will you run and don't know what you're running for? How long, How long will you do what you're doing and yet you say you love me? Yes, Lord. Amen. So David says. Yes, Lord. Come on. David says. Come on, preacher. Therefore, he asked me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whom shall I fear? Yeah. And of whom shall I be afraid? Yeah. Amen. Amen. God was David light. Light is always a source of comfort to any fearful person. Yeah. Oh, you didn't hear that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, when you're going through something, when you fear something, you need a source of direction. You need a source of light. You need a source that you know that'll be with you. See, darkness is there all the time. Yes. But I thank God I have a light that is shining in my time. But that I don't even see the darkness. How many of you know you've been through danger and seen and unseen and the Lord made a way for you? You don't know how you got out. All you know you was in something and today you're on the other side of it. It's because of the light of God in your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. See, God was very strict. Hallelujah. That is, God will give him the power to conquer his fears. Yeah. Whenever you fear, yeah. you need the Spirit of God in your life. Yes, God. See, sincere faith in God would dispel our fears. Yeah. God was on David's side. David knew that with God on his side, no one thing could overcome him. Even in the midst of battle, he had the confidence that did not waver. That if God is for me, Amen. then who can be against me? <laughs> Come on, preacher. Amen. When Moses was fearful for going back down to Pharaoh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he said, Lord, you know what I've done. Yes. And you know I cannot return. Yeah. If I go back, they're going to kill me. God spoke to Moses. Mm -hmm. Moses said, okay, then who shall I say sent me? Mm -hmm. In other words, who are you that I can tell Pharaoh yeah. that I am somebody that's going to deliver his people? God just spoke, said, you tell him I am? I am that I am. That I am. Yes. Whatever you need when you need it, I am, I am that. Whatever you need when you're going through something, I am that. Lord, help me to hold out. I'm, I'm going through and I want to give up, but the I am spoke to me and said you can make it if you try to give up. Don't get weary and well doing, so you shall reap it, your thing. I am the deliverer. I am your salvation. I am your bright and morning star. I am the bridge over troubled water. I am that that I am. And you need the I am in your life. If you're going to hold out and trust God, God will fix it for you. Not just after a while, a by and by. God will fix it right now in your life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
every now and then, yeah. you need to know who the yeah. I am is. Yeah. And every now and then, Satan will give you something that you cannot handle of yourself. Yeah. Every now and then, yeah. you want to throw up your hands and say, Lord, enough is enough. Every now and then, uh, you want to back up uh, and turn around and say, I can't go on any longer. Every now and then, uh, sickness will come upon you. Headaches are getting your way. Every now and then. But I heard, I heard the songwriter say, Lord, when that happens, help me to hold out. My trust in God. Lord, help me to hold out. How many of you want to hold out to see what the end will be? How many of you know that the Lord will help you to hold out? When I cannot see my way, I put my trust in God. Lord, help me. There are some things that we will encounter this year. Yes, sir. Satan knows whose side you are. Yes, but when Satan begins to attack, you put your faith in God. Because God did not bring us to where we are to leave us alone. So when that time of your life has seen dark and dreary, yes. you just fall on your knees and just tell the Lord, help me help the me. whole life. Hold I out. cannot see what you're going to do, but I got enough faith to know that you will do yes. what you promised us that you are going to do. Lord, help me the whole life. Many started on this journey, but for some reason or another, they allowed Satan to get next to them, and they dropped by the wayside. But you're here because somebody knows what the Lord has done. I got confidence in knowing that the Lord will not leave us in the state that he found us. Lord, help me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.